I'm gonna get you. Welcome to my channel. I, I can't breathe. <laughs> it feels like it's choking me. Hi guys, Bendy here. I am now making YouTube videos because I realized that I produce a lot of views. As you can see, I also have my own merch, by the way. Buy, buy my merch. Buy Bendy's merch, please. So today we're gonna play Bendy in the Ink Machine. Uh, because <laughs> this is this is self-promotion at its finest. Okay? If you don't leave a like, Benny's gonna hit you with his axe. Surprise, it's me. I have three fingers. <laughs> What's up guys, BG Mike here. As you guys may know, on the 26th of this month, October, spooky month, Bendy and the Ink Machine Chapter 5 will release, okay? And you know, this is uh, maybe not directly related, but hey, your boy's birthday is on the 26th, okay? So I really can't think of a better birthday present than having, you know, Chapter 5 of Bendy and the Ink Machine, something that's very close to me, uh, something that I just have, I might like it just a little bit. Come out like on my birthday so that's really cool guys and you know every every chapter we get super hyped I just it's so cool I love Bendy and the Machine and uh, it's really sad to, to possibly see that it's gonna be over like I don't know if they're gonna be doing other things or anything like that but as far as I know this is it and I'm, I'm super excited so with that being said, today's video is about possible theories. What is going to happen in Chapter 5 of Bendy and the Ink Machine? Now, previously we've already done uh, like a, the reveal trailer, we reacted to, to, to that. But since then, Joey Drew Studios has released these three recordings. There are just three videos on the Joey Drew Studios YouTube channel that just features tape recordings that you hear throughout the actual game of Bendy and the Ink Machine. And a lot of people have been doing theories and such, and today the third one just came out. So I thought, hey, like, this is the most, this is the perfect time to do a, uh, a theory sort of video. I have not listened to these at all, so it's gonna be a treat, guys. And I may have also took a trip down to Hot Topic yesterday, which is, uh, snagged me one of these. I think this is so freaking cool. Literally, this is my costume for Halloween. You guys ever wanna get a close shave? Just get you a bendy axe, okay? No, get you a- oh, look at that. Look at that. Very nice. Alright, guys, let's look at the first one and see what it's about. Okay. Oh, God. If anyone finds this, my name is Henry. And I'm trapped far below Joey Drew Studios. Oh, oh. A man I used to work for. There's crazy things happening down here. Monsters. Demons. Angels. And right now, two of them are holding me prisoner. Wait a minute, two of them are holding a prisoner? So this is definitely gonna happen in Chapter 5. Like, this is after the fact of what we already played, because he's talking about the angels and the demons. Uh, he said angels. So that means that there's two, and they're talking about Alice and Angel, which a lot of you guys corrected me last time when I did a video on the on the React trailer and unboxing that cool Benny stuff. A lot of you guys said no, it's Alice and Angel, which that is correct. I I don't know. I just it's easier to say Alice Angel. <laughs> there's crazy things happening down here. Monsters, demons, angels, and right now two of them are holding me prisoner. Right now, two of them are holding me prisoner. What, what is he referring to? Is it Sammy Lawrence? Because, I mean, uh, the evil Alice Angel is dead, and it's not Bendy. I think it's Sammy Lawrence, and is there there's gonna be a new character, maybe? You know, I'm probably not the best channel to be looking at for these theories, but I'm just trying to think, like, who else could it be? Or could he just be talking about some random ink monsters? You, you know, who knows? I don't know how I'm gonna get out of here, but there's more. There's a secret hiding in the shadows. I just feel like I'm being watched. Mm -hmm. There's something at work here. If anyone finds this, you must not... Hold on. They're coming back. Well, that doesn't give us very much to go off of. Three weeks remain. It's getting close, guys. I'm super, super excited. Okay, so Henry is underground, which we know because in the first chapter you fall underground, so obviously he's deep below the studio. Which, by the way, is crazy because it's like a theme park and all, all kinds of crazy stuff's going on. Two of them specifically are holding him captive. Now, again, it could be Sammy Lawrence because, uh, we never actually seen him die. We never seen Bindi kill him. And also, but we did see, uh, Alice Angel get stabbed. Now, I'm gonna assume that she's dead because she definitely got stabbed. So that doesn't leave very much to, to really go off of. And of course, I'm gonna be reading comments because, like, you guys are really good and sometimes I read your comments and I'm like, Oh, I never thought of that! When he referred to the secret hidden thing in the shadows, then that- that's- it's gotta be Bendy. Like, I don't know who else it could possibly be. So, something that I left out and I haven't addressed since you guys left comments about it, was that you- you were all telling me that this is the old Bendy. So there's two- 
bendies, right? There's two bendies. Now, there's a good and an evil one. Now, I can only assume it's much like Alice Angel in her situation, that she has a good and a bad version. My theory on that is the ink machine sometimes produces good versions and bad versions. It just produces a lot of these monsters, and sometimes they come out really good, and sometimes they come out really bad. That's why Alice Angel was, you know, referring when you talked to her in chapter 3, I believe. She talks about how uh, it kept being wrong, and then I came out an angel. Shapeless slug. It made me an angel. So I, I really think that that's basically what's going on here. Now the big theory, obviously, that Joey drew is Bendy, but I would only assume that he's the evil one and not the good one. Unless there's something else, and, and maybe this is a flashback, I don't really know, but it's very interesting that they have a different version of Bendy here, which I feel like that has to do something with the lurking in the shadows part. At least the evil one. And then, not to mention, in chapter 4, uh, I believe chapter 4, he actually helped us beat the projectionist. So, I don't know what's going on, guys. That must have been the good Bendy, but he definitely didn't look like this. I don't remember. <laughs> Bree MCD says, just a little theory. Since this was after Henry was saved by Allison and Tom. 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 Who's Tom? So apparently, uh, this isn't Boris, either. It's Thomas Wolf, which is not Boris. Uh, see, this is where it confuses me, and I honestly didn't even know about it until right now. I was kind of reading on it. But this is Allison and then Tom, which we all, I think we all kind of thought that he was the janitor, right? Because he had the, you know, the tools and such. Also can't help but notice, like, the bionicle kind of arm sort of deal. Maybe that has something to do with the, me like, the mechanical bendy that we see in Chapter 3. So it just further kind of just proves the point that the, the ink machine creates good and bad copies of everything. Now, Boris, though, Boris is good. So that's what kind of confuses me a little bit uh, about that. When did Boris last disappear anyway? Hey guys, Future Biju just dropping in here. I have to stop myself because obviously I don't really think. I completely forgot about how that was Boris at the end of Chapter 4. And, uh, yeah, he's dead. Ooh, this is interesting, and I didn't even think about this. Uh, the Putis <laughs> Cooperation says, Is this some kind of fourth wall break that it sounds like he's communicating to us to help him? That could be it as well. That would be pretty smart, I think. And I don't think that that would be very... Like, that's definitely a possibility in my book. The Lost Ones might be holding him there. Hey, that's also a possibility as well, because in the trailer of Chapter 5, which is unlisted, by the way, I don't know why. It's a really bad picture, but you can see Alice and Angel fighting the Lost Ones, who had, like, basically, they don't like the angel on, on their wall. I don't remember what, exactly what it said, but it said, like, no angels or something like that. So, my, the my little theory on that, okay, I'm gonna be dropping little theories every now and then. It said the bad Alice Angel did some horrible crap to them. Maybe that's the reason why they're trapped in here. It sounded like she had some connections to the ink machine. Maybe she ran the thing. I don't know. And so they they see her like this. It's like, hey, you look like her. We're gonna kill you. And maybe they're just freaking out, okay? And uh, because they were nice to us in chapter four, maybe they just freaked out and they kidnapped Henry. That's that's the theory. And I think that's pretty much all we have to say about that. It's me. It's Henry. It's been a while since I last recorded. Okay, so this is in Most order? I've been spending my days doodling, passing the time as best I can. I heard my captors arguing today. Seems they okay. still don't know what to make of me. Okay. So they can talk. Sense. I guess I don't know what to make of them either. What? In times like this, I wish Morris was still with me. Okay, so one thing that we definitely know is whoever his captives are, they can talk. And he knows that they were arguing. So if they speak English, then they're not just regular, like, searchers or things like that. And I don't think that the other guys, you know, the ones with the glowing eyes, I can't remember their name, the fall in, whatever, I don't think that they could talk, because they never did talk, although they were crying, so we don't really know. <laughs> and he said that he doesn't know what to make of them, so maybe they are those, those inky guys, you know? Or the third option is basically that it's an enemy that we just haven't seen yet. But he can draw. He is able to draw, as you can see right here. I think that this is what they're kind of alluding at. This is his table that he's able to record at. And of course, he's got his bacon soup. Oh, God. <laughs> I can imagine how sick a bacon soup Henry is. Well, that's probably much. all he has to eat down there. He didn't say much for Boris, but he was a good friend to have. Yeah, no, yeah, Boris didn't say anything. Boris, all he wanted was bacon soup, and he freaking hid like a little baby. That's what he did. But still, you know, Boris was a good friend, apparently. Him. I just couldn't save him. From Alice Angel. But I yeah. promise, I will get out of the studio if it's the last thing I do. 
Wow, way to just ditch Boris. <laughs> so, so is this is this safe to assume that Boris is actually dead? Uh, I guess because he's like, well, you know, it sucks, but I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna leave the studio and whoever's down here trapped, screw you guys, I'm out. <laughs> Savage Henry. Okay, that one was a lot more straightforward. I feel like and this is two weeks for me. All right, let's uh, let's just quickly scroll these comments. Ooh, uh, Inkaina says, "I'm not sure what to make of them. To make of them, sounds as though Tom and Allison may not trust us, and Henry may not trust them." I, you know what? I never considered that. Maybe just because they saved us and killed them, maybe they don't trust us, and they end up capturing us, and we just don't know. We don't know what side they're on, and that would make sense now with that line. It's like I don't know what to make of them because, uh, you know, they did kill our enemy. But at the same time, they think that we're bad, too. Because they probably feel like they can't trust anyone down here. Ooh, and yeah, that one was pretty short. So, uh, on to the third one. The one that just came out three hours ago. Uh, I'm really excited. Let's see what this is about. This may be my last chance to record a message. I'm pretty sure he saw me talking into this thing. He, he. He probably won't let me keep it. What? There's not much left to say except... Linda, I miss you. I love you so much. Oh, that's so sweet. So his has Henry married? I, I think he kind of mentioned something about like other people in in chapter three uh, in like that secret recording. It's really hard to remember, but apparently his girlfriend slash wife's lame name is Linda. I now I think Henry is pretty old. Like he's not super old, but he's definitely not young either. So I'm gonna assume that he's probably married to this girl named. Linda, and of course he misses his family. He misses the life outside. Like we gotta remember, they just got invited to the you know Joey Drew Studios, thinking hey, like an old boss was just wanted to hang out or something like. But he said he. So this person is a boy. So again, this could be Tom, as you guys mentioned, or it could be uh, Joey Drew, Bendy, uh, whatever. It could just be a Bendy, one of the Bendys. Don't be talking into this thing. You probably won't let me keep it. There's not much left to say except. Linda, I miss you, and I love you so much. Coming back to this old place, well, it only reminds me of how much I gained. I feel like there's so many questions that need answering. So many things that don't make any sense. Uh -huh. If anyone hears this, if you make it out, don't ever return. Obviously. Because the main demon will find you. Okay, so, okay, don't return because the ink demon will find you. So it sounds like confirmed that Bendy is the one that captured him. Now, I'm gonna assume that it's the bad one if there is two Bendys like everyone seems to think. One week remains. So yeah, not a lot of information was really gathered in that other than he misses his wife that's named Linda, I'm guessing. And he is captured him here, okay? Catch me crying in the ink machine. <laughs> Let me- let him see his wife! Wait, does Henry loves Linda? <laughs> I, I- I think so, he kinda said it. Wait, Henry has a wife, does this mean that she could possibly be in the next game or the DLC? I don't think so, unless she's the one coming out here to save him. Like, I don't think- <laughs> I don't think so, it's kinda weird. What if, like, the crazy, like, t plot twist is that Linda is one of the ink monsters? Linda is Bendy! <laughs> his own wife kidnapped him! Wow! I don't know, guys. I don't know. Um, I, I feel like I pretty much kind of skimmed everything that I could. Uh, is, is there something that I'm missing, guys? Please leave your, your Bendy theories down below. What do you guys think? Do you agree with me? Do you disagree? I just want to pass this question off to you guys, okay? Is Linda Bendy? I want to know right now. But with that being said, guys, I am so excited. We have one week, which is my birthday, okay? All right? You guys better be wishing me a happy birthday, okay? I don't even care. That's my one day that I get to be selfish. Okay, so wish me a happy birthday. I better have a birthday message in the game. <laughs> okay, I'm just joking guys, but yeah, uh, uh, leave a like if you enjoyed this guys. Uh, if you were not caught up with Bindi, if you're watching this, you don't even know what Bindi is. Maybe you stopped by something else. Uh, feel free to check out my Bindi playlist at the end of this video. Uh, definitely check it out. Bindi is amazing. It's one of the like coolest uh, indie games to really come out and I'm really glad to see all of its success all the merch at the stores seeing it on the switch seeing it like it's just so crazy uh, and you know just holding this axe this is a really nice axe by the way guys this has been a bendy theory from bendy himself guys be sure to buy my game and all my merch Mwah. bye bye Ooh -y. I wasn't planning.
money on it.